Hello everyone, I'm Splow1, and welcome back to another building tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple window that opens up when you tap on it. This is a very beginner build, so it should be pretty easy for you. And without any more talking, let's close our window and get right to it. Alright, for starters, of course, we need our maker pens. We're going to go into backpack tools and click use on the maker pen. You could also click on favorite, reach behind your back, click your trigger, and there's your maker pen. Okay, now on to making the frame for our window. We're going to go to our maker pen, go to palette, cube, back to tools, and recolor, get a brown, go to materials, find a wood grain, and we're going to scale this wood grain up all the way. Click on create, and there's your cube. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to create a little tiny cube right here. We're going to scale this down until it's just a bit flat right around there. And we're going to scale this out as big as you want your window. Where'd I put mine there? I'm going to scale this out just so it's a little longer. And done. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to make a big rectangle. So we're going to clone this shape up. Rotate, click on the blue circle, and we're going to move this so it's matching up with the side. Now, we're going to click on scale, and we're going to scale this in just a little bit. We're going to bring this up so it's matching that bit. Scale this up until it's at a height that you like. Move my window. I'm going to take the clone and I'm going to bring this over to the side and match it up over here. Now for our final piece, we're just going to scale this, rotate, blue circle, bring it upward, and match it up to the top of these two. Scale this in, match up your sides, and there's your simple little window frame. Now what we're going to do is make the actual piece for the window. I'm gonna go to create, make sure we're still on cube, recolor, go to color, find white, click it, go to material, you could choose either shiny metal or galvanized metal. I'm gonna use shiny metal and click on create. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to create our little square piece here. Make it around this size, bring it in, match it up to the side of your window frame. Now what we're going to do is bring it up and scale it across the whole window frame. What we're going to do now is we're going to clone this up a little, scale, flatten it just a bit, and now we're going to bring this down into our middle piece and bring it out just a little bit. Just so it's like that. Now what we're going to do is clone this piece up, rotate it, move it to the side here, and pull it off a little bit. Now we're going to scale this down just about halfway, clone this to this side, and then clone it once more, rotate it. Bring it upward, match it up to the top of this, and scale it across. And there you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clone all of these pieces right here, except for this piece. Clone it up, and we're going to move this back. Just around to there. Now, when you clone this piece up and it does not fit in here, all you gotta do is just move this wood piece up just so it's right around there, and then scale these pieces back up to size. Super easy fix. Now what we're gonna do is add our glass pane, if you want to. 
So what I'm going to do is go to palette, click on search, search up glass, and click on glass. Then we're going to fit our glass into here, and we're going to match it up with our window. Same goes with this top piece. And there you go, your window is now finished. So once when our window is finished, we're going to start animating. So what we need is an animation gizmo. So we're gonna go to our makeup pen, go to palette, click on search, search up animation. And I'm gonna use the version one of the animation gizmo. Let's spawn it right here. Once we have our animation gizmo, we are going to go back to our window, click edit on it, select our window piece that we're going to animate. That would be this square right here. Options and split shapes. Now what we're going to do is add our window and our piece of glass here to our animation gizmo. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the top piece of our animation gizmo and drag it to our window. Same thing goes for this glass piece right here. Once you do that, it should say object added to animation. I'm not sure if you can see that from my view because I'm using my streaming cam, but it should say object added to animation. Now what we're going to do is edit our animation. So we're going to click on edit and edit our animation gizmo. Open up our maker pen and here's our animation tab. What we're going to do now is click on add and that'll add a frame to our animation. Once we do that, we're going to scroll down to select, select the glass and your window. Now back to our palette and click on move. Now we're going to move this up and match it up with your other window. There you go. Now we're going to go here, click on smooth and you can click on this white dot right here and drag it back. If you do this, you will see your animation moving. We're going to make sure that both ends of our frames are on smooth. And for the first frame, for our in, we're going to click ease. And for our out, we're also going to click ease. We're going to drag this over here and do the same thing. Once when our animation is finished, you can click done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on configure configure our animation, make sure it is on ping pong, and our speed percentage is going to go down to 60. We're going to click on stop at end and stop at start. And that is it for our animation gizmo. Now that we have our animation finished, we need something to trigger our animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our maker pen, click on palette, go to our search bar, and search up trigger volume. Scroll down till you find V1, spawn this in, just like that, and now we're going to match this up with our entire window. Once that is done, it should take up your whole first window. This red arrow right here means when entering zone, and when entering zone, that means anything that enters this area will trigger your animation. Once when that is finished, you can drop your makeup pen, go up to your window, and just tap on your window. And there you go. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Of course, as all my builds, I very much enjoyed creating this. And I hope you also enjoyed it because making objects with animation on it is pretty fun. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, keep on building. See ya.